August 18th. Strangers are coming to the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. Jeremiah 51, 51. On this account, the faces of the Lord's people were covered with shame, for it was a terrible thing that men should intrude into the holy place reserved for the priests alone. Everywhere about us we see like cause for sorrow. How many godly men are now educating with the view of entering into the ministry? What a cry sin is that solemn lie by our whole population is nominally comprehended in a national church. How fearful is that it is that ordinances should be pressed upon the unconverted and that among the more enlightened churches of our land there should be such laxity of discipline. If the thousands who will read this portion shall all take this matter before the Lord Jesus this day, he will interfere and avert the evil which else will come upon his church. To adulterate the church is to pollute a well, to pour water out upon fire, to sow a fertile field with stones. May we all have grace to maintain in our proper way the purity of the church as being an assembly of believers and not a nation, an unsaved community of unconverted men. Our zeal must, however, begin at home. Let us examine ourselves as to our right to eat at the Lord's table. Let us see to it that we have on our wedding garment, lest we ourselves be intruders in the Lord's sanctuaries. Many are called, but few are chosen. The way is narrow and the gate is straight. Oh, for grace to come to Jesus aright with the faith of God's elect. He who smote Uzzah, for touching the ark is very jealous of his two ordinances. As a true believer, I may approach them freely. As an alien, I must not touch them lest I die. Heart searching is the duty of all who are baptized or come to the Lord's table. Search me, O God, and know my way. Try me and know my heart.